Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs, and this is Ron's Bank Shop Breakdown. We're going to go over five college basketball games for Wednesday, January 18th, 2023. Now, if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your college basketball picks in the comments section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at the Premium Picks tab at PickDogs.com. Alrighty, let's get into it. Here are the games for Wednesday in college basketball. First up, we see Cincinnati and South Florida. This one's going to be 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPN+. Plus. You know, Cincinnati's 13-6 this season, a nice 4-2 conference record, but only one top 100 Ken Palm win this year over Tulane back on December 29th. They've played a few tough teams, Arizona, Ohio State, Xavier, Houston, but they haven't been able to beat the tougher teams, whether it's been in-conference play or non-conference play. And now you're going on the road here, and you are favored, I think for good reason, but I like the way South Florida has looked as of late. When You know, at the beginning of the season, we knew this team's defense was going to be pretty solid, but the offense was one of the worst in the AAC. You look at their first few games in non-conference play, they suffered upset losses to teams like South East Missouri State, Austin P, and Stetson. But now you look down the stretch, even though they're not necessarily winning a bunch of games in conference action, they're 1-4 and four in the conference thus far, they're scoring a lot more points. Their offense has actually been pretty solid. You look at the game against Memphis, they put up 86 points, the Bulls did, in a 93-86 competitive game on the road. Then against Houston, one of the best teams in the country and definitely one of the best defenses in the nation, South Florida hung in there. They only lost the game by 6 points. They put up 77 points of offense in that game. And then last time out in a true road game, putting up 81 points against East Carolina. We saw South Florida have a great day from the perimeter, shooting 11 of 23, 47.8%. We're not used to those numbers for this South Florida team this year and over the last few years, but this offense is really improving. The defense, I think, is still in pretty good form, forcing a good amount of turnovers, a good rebounding team. I think South Florida's got a good chance of winning this game outright, so I'm going to take the points here with the home dog. Next up, we go to the Big 12 as Oklahoma takes on Oklahoma State. This one's going to be 9 o'clock Eastern in Stillwater. It's going to be on ESPNU. You know, Oklahoma State had a disappointing start to the year, but they're still ranked 39th in the country in Ken Palm for good reason. This is a 9-8 team on paper, 1-4 uh, in conference play, but this is still the ninth ranked adjusted defensive efficiency team, and they're really tough to beat at home. I mean, their only conference win was a home game, a, a seven-point win over West Virginia, a solid West Virginia team. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a similar result in this game. You know, Both teams have had issues taking care of the basketball this season, turning the ball over quite a bit. But I do think that Oklahoma State's going to be able to force more turnovers. This is a defense that forces a lot of tough mistakes and tough decisions from the opposing team. And Oklahoma, like I mentioned, 235th in the country in turnover percentage on offense. They don't force many on defense either. So I think it's a big advantage that Oklahoma State's going to have in this game. When it comes to rebounding, both of these teams pretty solid on the defensive end. Oklahoma State certainly has the advantage on the offensive side of things, attacking the glass. So even though this is not a great shooting team Oklahoma State has, they're able to get those second chance looks. And if they're able to take care of the basketball a little bit better than we've seen for most of the year, which they should because they're facing a defense that hasn't been able to force those turnovers. I do think that the Cowboys are going to have more success on offense, put enough points up on the board to win this game and cover the number. You know, Oklahoma State's on a three-game losing streak, but when you look at those teams in Texas, Kansas State, and Baylor, there's really no surprise. Those are very tough teams. Now back at home here against the rival and a matchup that I think benefits you quite a bit, I think Oklahoma State grabs a really important win here over their rival. So give me the Cowboys here laying the points. Next up, we go to the SEC as Florida takes on Texas A&M. This one's going to be a 7 o'clock Eastern start time on SEC Network. You know, both teams are on win streaks right now. Florida has won three straight games, all in conference action, and Texas A&M has won six straight games overall, four of those in the SEC, so they're 4-0 in conference play thus far, and one of those wins was on January 4th against these Florida Gators. That game was in Gainesville, so it was a true road win for Texas A&M, and even though the Aggies won that game by 3 points, 66-63, to Texas A&M only shot 12.5%, 2 of 16 from deep in that game compared to the Gators, 37% from deep. So, you know, you're able to win that game by three points on the road despite a terrible shooting night from the perimeter, and the opponent had a much better night shooting the ball. And, you know, now you return back home. You're playing your best basketball of the season. You're coming off a win over South Carolina, 94-53. to I think you have to like your chances, and that was a true road game as well. I think you have to like your chances if you're Texas A&M. You're playing great ball. You look at the Florida Gators on the other side. Yes, they're on a three-game win streak, but what worries me the most is not only is this Gator team experiencing a lot of inconsistencies in their shooting performances, we've seen some great nights from the, you know, just like their game against Georgia and LSU where they shot the ball well in the second half, but we've also seen some really struggling, you know, really rough 
rough shooting performances from the Gators. Games against West Virginia come to mind where they just got blown out of the gym at a neutral site, 84-55. And the one thing that's kind of been the common theme, whether the Gators have won or lost these big-time games against these conference opponents or big-time Power 5 non-conference opponents is slow starts. We look at the game against Georgia. Georgia jumped out to a 23-12 lead in the first 10 minutes. You look at the game against LSU. It was a 19-14 advantage for the Tigers in the first 10 minutes. Even Missouri, your win last time out when you won the game by 9 points at home, you started the game down by 7 points, 18-11. to These slow starts for the Gators are really tough to back in a true road game against a very good Texas A&M team. It's already beaten you by 3 points. I got to take Texas A&M here at a really good price, laying the points at home. Next up, we go to the ACC as Virginia Tech takes on Virginia. This one's going to be 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPNU. You know, Virginia Tech has not played very well as of late. They've lost the last five games overall, all in conference play after starting 1-0 in ACC action. But I will say this is a series that's usually pretty close. You look at the last four games in this series, a big rivalry series, Virginia Tech has either won the game outright or it's been a three-point or less win for Virginia. So very close games, usually low scoring games that go down to the wire. And when you're getting this many points, seven and a half points in a rivalry game like this, to me, you, know, you take the recent numbers for uh, Virginia Tech and their performance on offense and defense, you kind of throw it out the window. This is a big time matchup, a season saving type of game. If Virginia Tech can grab the outright win, I'm not sure they're going to be able to, but I do think they at least keep this game close. You know, they've been really missing Hunter Couture in their lineup. He's one of their best perimeter shooters, one, really one of their best players in general. But, you know, this is still a team that has plenty of options shooting the basketball. They take care of the ball, which is important against the, this uh, Tony Bennett Virginia defense. I do think Virginia Tech does enough in this game both on both sides of the ball to keep it within this big number in a conference rivalry game like this is just way too many points I think this game's going to be decided by three points or less give me the points here with Virginia Tech and the final game we're to talk about for Wednesday's card to college basketball it's going to be Abilene Christian and Utah Valley Utah Valley 10 and a half point favorites in this one it's going to be an eight o'clock eastern start time on ESPN plus the Utah Valley Wolverines are huge favorites in this game, and I would have never expected it going into the season, but you know, Utah Valley's having a great year. They're 14-5 overall, and they had to replace quite a bit of production from last year's team, by the way. They're 14-5 overall. They have two big upset wins over Oregon and BYU in true road games. They're 5-1 in conference play, and I do think that this matchup benefits them quite a bit in this game. You look at ACU, a team that takes a lot of fouls on defense because they're very aggressive. They like to force a lot of turnovers. We saw it in that game against UT Rio Grande Valley. We took the over in that one, and I mentioned that we should expect UTRGV to get to the free throw line a ton because of ACU's foul issues and they had 48 free throws in that game and Utah Valley does a great job of getting to the line they're a good free throw shooting team as well I wouldn't be surprised to see 25 30 maybe even 40 free throw attempts from Utah Valley in this game they do a good job of taking care of the basketball pretty good shooting team but this is a more defense first type of team I expect to have a lot of fast break opportunities on the other end score enough points in this one to cover the number so give me Utah Valley land the points against ACU just not a good matchup for those Wildcats even though we're, we're going to be uh, finding some value with ACU in conference play down the stretch but I'm going to take Utah Valley in this one land the points and that's it those are the games for Wednesday in College Hoops hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and don't forget to Put your college basketball picks in the comment section below. Again, if you're looking for my best bet, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Romanelli. Good luck.